Hello, good morning, Helsinki. My name is Gavin. I'm one of the co-founders and the CEO of About Energy. So batteries offer us the opportunity to be sustainable, but it's important to understand that batteries aren't sustainable by default. And there's many challenges for the battery industry. Batteries take a long time to come to market. People developing battery projects typically take three to five years. The number one concern for people developing battery products today is actually getting to market. And nine out of 10 of these issues identified by the battery industry could actually be solved by simulation tools. And people are probably very familiar with a lot of these news stories you've seen over the last, um, even just the last few months. Many battery companies going bust, many automotive OEMs pulling back and rewinding their battery projects. And battery development today, unfortunately, is really expensive and it's very, very high risk. And that's why we see so much government support going to try and, and help this. And I remember when I started my PhD at Imperial College London four and a half years ago, I thought, batteries, we use them in everything, from our watches to mobile phones, laptops. It can't be that complicated. Um, but over the last four and a half years, I think I've now finished my PhD more confused than when I began. Batteries are unbelievably complex, and it's this complexity that makes it very, very difficult to develop battery products. So our solution to this is basically to bring out a suite of uh, products, a database of commercially available cells to help people develop battery products today. So we launched this product, which we call the Vault platform, um, about nine months ago. And it has a range of commercially available cell models from Samsung, LG, Panasonic, etc. And what we're trying to do is build tools to enable people to develop battery products. So we have a suite of uh, web app tools to help people select which battery to pick from. You probably don't realize, but if you look at Samsung, LG, Panasonic, there's between 500 and 1,000 different commercially available cells to pick from for, say, a given electric scooter or a given vehicle program. So we have a suite of these tools to help people select them batteries, benchmark different batteries against each other, and then start to actually design a system around it. And after you go through that early level, high level design, it's then moving to a more detailed design. So we have a suite of these very advanced engineering models in, in the platforms that engineers love, like the Dassault systems, the Siemens, the Katias of the world. We build our models into these platforms, so it slots right into engineers' workflows. And then if we think about the battery value chain as we see it, it starts with um, uh, cell development. So you have the material developers, the cell manufacturers. It then goes on to pack design where you go through these multi-step processes, and obviously this is heavily simplified, but first you have to select which battery you're gonna use. You then have to design a system around it. How many batteries do you need in series and parallel? Um, before designing the thermal management system, the control system, and then finally you actually start to sell that product and you get to in life. And that's where you have um, the in use, so battery analytics, what's the state of health of these batteries, what's the, the vehicle program? And you probably recognize many of these logos that are on the screen at the moment. About a third of the logos on the screen are actually our customers today. And we're working with a, a range of massive OEMs. Half of our customers are multi-billion dollar OEMs. The only one we can publicly talk about is Porsche Automotive, who use our services. Um, and the other half are very innovative, high-end motorsports, um, electric scooter, um, cell manufacturing companies. Um, and this is really where we see the impact for our technology, is, is what we do is very fundamental. And many of the companies on the screen here, most people are assume are competitors. But where we've seen the opportunity in the market is to actually slide in a level deeper, um, where we actually are a key technology supplier to this whole industry. And the way we do this is we have a deep tech solution. So I did my PhD at Imperial College. My co-founder did his PhD um, at the University of Birmingham. And our core IP as a company is measurement. Our ability to measure batteries really accurately, and it's that data and that fundamental understanding that we then productize and sell to companies. And our play in this battery ecosystem isn't actually to deliver directly for customers, it's to provide the building blocks and tools to let other people go away and do what they need to do, whether that's engineering a system, um, such as designing a control system like a fast charge algorithm, designing a battery pack or a vehicle layout. Um, we want to be that, that fundamental tool supplier to the whole of the battery industry. Um, so so what, where we are today is we, we're working with four out of the top 20 luxury automotive brands worldwide. 
Um, we're working with some multi-billion dollar cell manufacturing startups and a lot of the high-end motorsport companies in the UK. And looking into the future now, we have very ambitious plans, which is to be basically what our mark to the silicon chip industry about energy is going to be to the battery industry. And it's going to be a super difficult task and one that we're ready to take on. So April next year, we're going to open our Series A investment round where we're looking to raise £10 million um, to fund building a new battery lab, hiring a team of super talented engineers and scientists to really get that deep understanding of how batteries work, to make sure that when we develop battery products, that we do it in a very sustainable and efficient manner. Um, so yeah, my name's Gavin. Thanks very much for the time today, um, and hopefully catch you after the presentation. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.